Hello guys, what's up and welcome to the new tutorial from the uh, SketchUp Parker Studio. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can work with Enscape 4 for SketchUp, newest version of Enscape, which is completely different to rendering and lighting system. So I'm going to show you what is the differences and for example, I want to work this simple kitchen design in here, very simple and easy. Let's get to and jump into it. First of all, I'm going to press F on my keyboard and switch on the camera number one in the left side and close it. As you can see, the theme of these colors in NSK4 are completely changed. For example, in the previous version, we have orange color, but in this case, we have some type of cattle blue color in here. So uh, this is my frame number one in here. And if I want to show the SketchUp environment, you can see what's really happened inside the 3D model. You can download this 3D model below this video. This is the IS profiles which I add to my environment and I want to show how we can render with Enscape 4 for a SketchUp. Let's get to work. First of all, open the Enscape in here very simple and easy. First step is turning on the save frame and after that I'm going to click on the visual setting and add my setting. So I'm going to move visual setting to the left side, something like that. Click on the output, change the resolution from Full HD to the custom mode. And you can change it to the uh, 101 resolution or full HD resolution. I prefer to use full HD resolution for this case. So uh, I'm going to click on the main bar in here and start my rendering. We have three type of mixtures for this kitchen design. Dean gray, wood texture and white glass material. So I'm going to reduce the field of view a little bit. Something like that can be really fine. So 76 degrees enough. You need to add some outline in the cabinet or kitchen rendering because it can add some details and changes or differences during your surfaces. So I'm going to add this outline. For example, some number like maybe 10 is enough for it. Exposure can be increased to the 56 in this case, but we don't match our lighting yet. So if I increase the rendering quality to the high mode, I can see the changes in here. If you use RTX or more powerful graphic cards, you can use ultra mode. For this training, I prefer to use high mode. Turn on the depth field, turn off the autofocus, and play with the focal point to focus on your target very simple and easy. For example, something like this. And I want to add some number about 3.38. The depth field is about 9%. I'm going to click on the image bar, turn on the auto contrast. Now I have better view of my project. So I need some warm render, so I need to reduce color temperature a little bit, not too much. Be careful about it. For example, 5800 Kelvin is enough. Saturation is about 101%. Motion blur is totally naturally useful because only we use it in the animations and 3D visualizing animations. Lens flare is naturally useful in here, so try to don't touch it. Bloom option is about zero because we need some sharp render. Vignate can be decreased to the uh, 22 and chromatic aberration is about some number about maybe zero. Go to the atmosphere. Everything is done in here. We don't need to add any type of them, but we have some option which name is artificial light brightness. If I increase artificial light brightness, you can see what's really happened. The IES profiles will be charged more than the other times. So 122 is enough. Ambient brightness is about 60. Everything is done in here. Shadow sharpness is not really useful. Try to turn it off because in the interior renders, we have soft shadows. In the skybox, don't touch anything. Close it and come back to the other settings in your project. First of all, I'm going to minimize Enscape at the right side, SketchUp at the left side. Click on the Enscape Material Editor. I have some lines in my roof, so it's the a light pink texture in here. I want to convert them to the a light, so I need to change them from generic to the self-illuminated light. Now we have some better view about our project. 6,000 candela is enough for it. I'm going to go to the SketchUp environment, select this IS profile, click on the Enscape objects and I want to select it and increase the power of it to see what really happened inside my Enscape rendering. For example, some number about 800 candela, 
some number about select it and skip objects select it 800 close it come back to the Enscape environment in here and now time for the rendering i'm going to click on the uh, screenshot in here and save it in my pictures in here so i'm going to press save and rendering will be a start for us as you can see we take this render i think lower than six minutes it's completely realistic all the lights are safe and done very simple to use for the beginners and you can use it in different type of project which related to interior or exterior the high glass material can be re show the reflection of the lights very simple and easy and very smooth you can adjust it by the Enscape material editor and all the details are completely fine if i go to the uh, pictures in my computer in here pictures this is the final result of this project. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If this tutorial is useful, please like and subscribe our YouTube channel. Thanks for your time. Thanks for your valuable watching and goodbye.